Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you. If you like my video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. I try to upload new content every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Now let's get started. For today's project, we're going to be making some DIY home decor with a farmhouse twist to it. The supplies we'll be needing for today's project is a glue gun, glue sticks, scissors, popsicle sticks or craft sticks, some recycled glass jars, tea lights, paint, a vinyl lettering or a paintbrush, and some twine. Let's jump right in and get started. The first thing I'm doing is taking my white chalk paint. I'm using a flat brush and I'm just painting all sides of the house. I like to make sure that I paint the front and backs of my projects that way, depending on where you're using the decor piece, that it looks finished from all sides. I painted the small house first, and then I painted the larger house. I apologize that you can't really see what I'm doing off screen. I didn't realize my camera was not um, recording properly. Once I painted both of them, I then took some de brown decor wax, and I just gently distressed the edges. I didn't want it to be quite so stark white. At this point, I took my hair dryer out just to make sure that everything was completely dry before I went on to my next step. Now I'm taking my large craft sticks and I'm measuring the size of the roof. I want them to be flush with the back but overhang in the front. I use a pen and I mark off where I need them and I just use scissors to cut them. Tin snips work well as too. When I had them measured to the size that I needed, I used my hot glue gun and attached them to the top of the roof of the small house and the large house. For the word home on my house, I decided to use my Silhouette Cameo. Now you could also do hand lettering, or you could even buy peel and stick lettering from the Dollarama, would work just as well for the letters. After I had my letters in place, I took some twine and I wrapped it around, starting it in the back with a little bit of hot glue. I wrapped it around the house several times until I was satisfied with the way that it looked. I did the same thing with the small house. I simply attached it with hot glue on the back of the house, wrapped it around several times, and then set it aside. At 
At this point, I also added a twine bow to each of the houses, the small house and the large house, where the twine is wrapped around the house. And that's the end of project one. For project two, I'm using recycled glass jars that were used in my kitchen and some twine. I'm simply adding a bead of hot glue around the edge, wrapping it around the neck of the lantern, and then ending it off with some hot glue. I also added a little bow made of twine to each of the jars. And here's our finished product. I think they turned out so cute. They'd be perfect for setting on a shelf or adding to some decor in your home. Let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.